Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over the auto content syndication, auto gen content, article builder, and RSS feeds content options. Um, the last video we went over the saved articles, one spun article, and upload articles features because those are the features where you would be importing your own content. Uh, these other four features are, are where uh, FCS Networker basically goes and grabs content for you. But they all um, have a little different way of doing it. So let's get started with the auto content syndication feature. Auto content syndication is basically when um, you choose where you want your content from and FCS Network is going to go out and grab the content for you depending on the keywords. So let's say our keywords were dogs, dog training, and dog behavior. So um, you could enter a bunch of keywords if you want, um, but you just have to have a minimum of three. And then you would choose your sources of where you want content from. You could uh, choose all of them. You could be very specific as to where you want your content from. Um, but just be conscious of certain, especially for the news and uh, other sources, certain topics might not be, like if we were, to, if our keywords were talking about, you know, sports or something like that. News would probably be a great way to get articles for dog training. They might not be as relevant. So just keep that in mind when choosing your article sources. But in this case, let's just say we chose all article sources. Um, and uh, so this is just going to go and find articles uh, for your keywords and then post them, which is basically what syndica syndicated content is. But we also have the mash or spin option down there where you can kind of like mash up these articles, spin them, make them a bit more unique before they go live if you want to do that. Or you could just keep them as is. So you put your keywords in, check your content sources, and then uh, you could decide whether you want to keep the article links. Um, that's the links that were there previously. It doesn't have to do with our linking feature. That's put after, but... This is, uh, we have the default as remove links. That way these articles, if they have tons of links in them, uh, you're not just posting tons of links on your sites. But if you want to, you can just select to keep links. But the default is to remove links. Then you could add a citation, uh, which is basically will cite the source URL. So let's say an article is grabbed from Buzzle. At the bottom of the article, if you add this, it'll add a, uh, a link back to that original article. Um, it's basically a good way to play by the book if you want to do it that way. Um, but you don't have to put that in there. That's up to you. And then you could add categories for WordPress. This is WordPress only. Uh, and then just like the other options, you can decide to submit to all or number of articles to grab. We'll just go over that one more time quickly. Let's say we selected 20 accounts. If I chose to have it to submit to all, it's going to submit 20 articles because it's going to submit to all the accounts but let's say I selected 20 and I just wanted 10 of them to randomly get submitted to if I choose 10 we'll just have 10 submissions then not 20 um, and this is uh, mainly good if you just want to select a bunch of accounts and want FCS to choose which ones get submitted so you can choose all your accounts and then set that set this to 100 submissions and then you get 100 submissions without having to go in and pick your accounts um, individually. But normally people would just leave it on submit to all. And then you'd save it and FCS will go and do all the work for you, grab the articles and do whatever you've set to happen. So that's basically how the auto content syndication feature works. Auto generated content is a bit different. We still go out and grab articles, but what it does is we kind of mash them together. We take paragraphs, sentences, and then we spin the article um, depending on your quality setting. And we basically make an article from many different articles. And it's, uh, so the uh, default setting is the middle for each. But um, if you want the readability to be the most, it's going to be the least unique. And if you want the most unique, the readability is going to be uh, the least. So usually I just leave that at the mid setting. So we take our keyword, dog training, and then we'll choose the category, uh, which would be pets and animals. Basically, the reason for the category, not just the keywords, certain keywords, um, it, it, certain keywords can have 
it will show up in many different articles. Um, and it basically narrows down what exactly you, you're talking about, what, what your niche really is. Um, cause sometimes uh, I can't think of a great example, but, uh, Sometimes things may show up, you, you'd get articles if you put, let's say you put iPhone as the keyword and you want it to be about the technology of an iPhone, you choose iPhone and then technology as the category. You wouldn't want articles to come up about health where they just mentioned an iPhone. So that's the point of the, to choose the categories. It just gives us a better idea of what exactly you're looking for from your content. So you put in your keyword, choose your categories, check what quality you want and how many paragraphs and the same submit to all or how many articles. And we suggest being general. Um, as it says, so if your keyword was Sony EX720, we, there's not gonna be that much content on that, at least from where we're searching where we could find. So your best bet is to be as general as possible. You'd wanna, if you put in flat screen TVs um, instead of Sony EX720, you're gonna get a lot more content and just probably uh, just better overall articles from that. Um, so the more general you can be, the better uh, product specific and really niche specific stuff is not gonna work that great as of now with the auto-generated content feature. So basically you just save it and then FCS will just go and create these articles for you and depending on your submissions, we will do all the work for you and it'll all get uh, auto generated. It's similar to tools like uh, Content Machine and Wicked Article Creator and stuff like that. It's a very similar concept to how they create their articles with those. The next is Article Builder. I'm not going to go too much into this because this is a third party tool that we just offer their API support. So anybody who's usually a member of Article Builder, you have to have a membership, uh, will already know how to use it. So basically you just select your category, select your word, target word count, and if you're doing WordPress, you could add some categories, and then you're good to go. Uh, keep in mind that Article Builder has a 400 uh, article per day API call limit, so if you go over that, there you're gonna get failed submissions and or your projects are just not gonna submit because there's gonna be no articles. So if you're using Article Builder, don't overuse it to where you're sending out more than 400 articles a day across your projects. And unfortunately, that's not our limit. That's theirs. So there's nothing really we can do about it. And then the final uh, feature we're gonna go over is the RSS feeds. Uh, basically, you can add your feeds you could just do one feed, you could do multiple feeds, um, just put one per line, um, same options, you could keep the article links in there, you can remove them, you could add a citation source URL, and how this works is it's gonna randomly grab a feed, every time it goes to post an article, it's gonna randomly grab a feed and randomly grab one of the latest articles from that feed. So if you put in 10 feeds, we don't go feed one, feed two, feed three for each article post, we don't go in order, it's all random. So if you put in 10 feeds, it's gonna randomly grab a feed, randomly grab an article for each post. Um, and another cool thing about this feature that I like to do for some of my money sites, uh, let's just say FCS Networker had a good RSS feed, which we do not, but let's say we had good RSS feed, you could put that in as your feed and then just add a site, the source URL, and then just let her fly and uh, Basically what this will do is randomly grab articles from your feeds and go and syndicate them across your blogs and add a, uh, a cited source URL, which Google loves. It, it just looks like your branding is getting out there and it's really an easy way to just set up a project to your money site and uh, just have your content syndicated to all these blogs across the web. Um, but that's just one way to use it. Most people probably use it by putting in news feeds and stuff like that. But I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And as usual, you get your submit to all or number of articles to grab for that. And that's basically all there is to uh, these different um, content options in FCS. If we add more, we'll do more videos showing you guys uh, everything else. But for now, hopefully this should give you a good idea of all of our content options. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.